Okay, so the, uh, the transformation matrix question. The diagram shows the unit square and its image after transformation points have the following coordinates given by those. Write down the matrix X for this transformation. Well, you can either kind of work out and figure out what you think it, it would be, or you can remember how this whole matrix thing works and try to do it by doing, going back to the unit square and multiplying the unit square and doing all of that kind of stuff. If we did that, well, what, could, what could we do? We could say that the, the matrix that we're trying to achieve is the matrix A, B, C, D, and we're multiplying a unit square, which is 0, 0. Now, I put these in a slightly funny order, so I'm trying to make them more sensible. Oh, I don't know. That's not that's the best order of what we've done. And what we end up with from that is that um, the, point zip, the point O remains the same, doesn't it? So that's still at O. o uh, what are these points? That was, that was labelled as O. 0, 1 is labelled as... Sorry, 1, 0 is labelled as A. 0, 1 is C. And 1, 1 is B. So we've got to get the, the, the image of those points in the same place. Um, the image of A has remained the same. That is at 1, 0. The image of C is now at 2, 2, and the image of B is now at 3, 2. So that's what it produces. And now we just need to try and think, um, in terms of matrix multiplication, how these things would fit together. Well, let's, let's start it, let's look at, at C, for example, there. That would, that would come from doing, that value there would come from doing the first row times the third column. So that's A times 0 plus B times 1 gives us 2. So from that we get that B must be equal to 2. If we look at that number down there, um, that comes from the second row times the third column. So that is C times 0 plus D times 1. And that gives us 2. So D must be 2 as well. If we look along at what other value could we look at? If we look at that one there, then, um, or it's actually let's just do this one. If we do a times 1 plus b times 0, that's supposed to give us 1. So a must do 1. And what would be another good point to look at? Um, what if we do c? Yeah, we do that one down there. c times 1 plus d times 0 has got to leave us with 0. So C has to be 0 as well. And we get 1, 2, 0, 2 as our answer. And, and there are all sorts of ways that you could have figured it out. And that that's, feels like a lot of work for two months, but that, that's kind of going through all the steps really carefully with it. Now we've got to explain that um, the transformation is, is equivalent to a transformation P followed by a transformation Q. Give geometrical descriptions of a pair of possible transformations and state the matrices that represent them. And, and the way that I thought this through is that I thought about the stretch first. If you think about it, we've got this, this point here. We imagine it's been stretched up in that direction and then it's had a, a skew. It's been kind of knocked over in that direction. Now it's perhaps not the best order to do it, but I, in my head this was my first instinct to do to do that, not a skew, but a shear, isn't it? That was my instinct to do it in that order. So the first thing, I'm going to say that my, my first one, P, is a stretch. <coughs> P is going to be a stretch. And uh, we describe a stretch uh, by its scale factor and the direction, so it's scale factor 2 in the y direction. And that would be represented by the matrix 1, 0, 0, 2, wouldn't it? And I think that's one of the ones 
that we remember, but we can check it out as well. That you know, we could do the multiplying the, the uh, unit square if we wanted to, to check by that gives us. So that's the first one. That's that's stretched up in that direction. That one would look like that now. Okay, up to there. Not maybe not quite that tall, but uh, that would be the stretch in that direction. Now we've got to do the shear that takes it over to there. And the, the way that we describe the shear is we think about what would happen to particular points. 